Hi, and welcome to uh, another episode of Aesthetic Medicine Uncovered with Clinetics. I'm Simon Ravichandran, and I'm joined by my colleague, Dr. Paul Amand, BDS. Hi, Simon. Hi there. Now, today we are going to be talking about jawlines. So what is a jawline? What's an attractive jawline? What's a beautiful jawline? What's an aging jawline? And what are the treatments that we can do to rejuvenate and to beautify, make a jawline more attractive? And this is something that people are always seeing in the media. People are always asking. They're asking each other. They're asking us about what sort of treatments we can do to improve their jawline. And there's so many different sort of things that people want when it comes to jawline rejuvenation. So some people want a lengthening or a straightening of the jaw. Some people want a more sharper jawline. Some people want to go for a, a feminine jawline, maybe a narrower one. Some people need their jawlines widening. Sometimes the chin needs brought forward. And we've all heard these terms like uh, a V-shape or a heart-shaped jawline, and there's a masculine jawline, there's an American jawline. There's so many different things that we can consider when someone comes to us saying, can you rejuvenate our jawline? And we've got a lot of treatments and a lot of different options, and it all depends on what you, as a patient, actually want to achieve and what we've got to make that happen. So we're gonna move straight into that in just a minute, but first, just a reminder, if you want to follow any of our social media channels, if you like what you see, if you're interested in any of the topics that we have, or you'd like to know more about aesthetic medicine or any of the other things that we talk about in our various channels and podcasts, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook to stay updated to anything we might be doing. We've got our Twitter channel and we've got our um, Instagram post as well. So feel free to click on any of the icons, do the usual followers and Hopefully you'll be able to keep in touch and stay up to date with whatever it is that we've got to uh, say. So we're going to move straight on to Paula and she's going to tell us about her approach to jawline rejuvenation. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, jawlines are big news and, and they're becoming even more popular. And it's something that we've noticed in the clinic, people really um, asking for more details about and everybody wants a good jawline. My patients, my patients coming in and asking about jawline are young looking for maybe some balance and proportion, looking for some sharpness. They're male, um, looking for some changes maybe as they look in the mirror from the front, widening, sharpening and definition, a really masculine look. And they're older patients who are looking for rejuvenation. You know, our poor jawlines are really at the mercy of all these aging changes that are happening above. And it all seems to sometimes land on the in the lower face. So. That's who my patients are. And the treatments that I am most often using really fall into to three categories. The first is botulinum toxin injections or muscle relaxing injections, medicines um, that we inject like Botox. And that can be quite a surprise to some patients because people think of muscle relaxing injections being in the upper face, you know, frown lines and forehead lines, but they're really, really effective in the lower face. And I'm going to apologise in advance because it's quite likely that I'm going to make lots of stupid face, um, faces here to demonstrate this to you. Um, but I really want to get across how effective this treatment can be. So in our lower face, sort of from below our lips down to the jawline and the neck, there's muscles that we call depressor muscles. And these are the muscles that pull down. So they pull the corners of the mouth down and they can blunt this nice sharp line from the, the bottom of the jaw towards the neck. So rather than having a real definition where your jaw stops and your neck starts, it softens and that becomes worse as we age. So really simply by injecting muscle relaxing injections into the muscles that pull the corner of our mouth down and along the jawline itself and the neck here, it can give a neck lift. I say to patients, it's like a little mini facelift in this, in this lower third. It's simple to do, there's no downtime. It's suitable for just about all patients and it can be repeated easily every few months. So that's the first thing. Most often though, following a consultation with, the patients, with my patients, I will use perhaps the muscle relaxing injections, but I find this works best with combination with other treatments. So the next most common or most popular treatment that I will do to treat the jawline is dermal fillers. And we've got a couple of dermal fillers that really come into their own in the jawline area. And by jawline, just as Simon alluded to in the beginning, it will mean something different to all of you. We have um, jawline 
from the side, so we can be talking about this angle towards the back. We have the jawline itself, and we can have this area around the front, so the chin projection, and also this area where the, the jowls meet the, the jawline. So we've got different fillers that we can use in all of these areas. And I, the video that's playing, you can see a relaxed, comfortable patient. There's, they haven't had any anaesthetic or anything like that. And they're having um, injections of dermal filler in the angle of the jaw which acts as a little foundation, like a little buttress to help anchor the tissues back. So it's physically tightening from the, the posterior part of the jaw. And if it is decided, it can actually also widen the jaw as well. It just depends on what um, we're trying to achieve. We're also seeing a cannula injection along the jawline itself. So this is gonna um, contour the jawline, sharpen the jawline, and act as a vector to help tighten, straighten and define. And we can also see injections towards the front at the chin, which can do two things. It can reproportion. If the chin is sitting back, it can project it forward. It can lengthen the chin to proportion as we're looking from the, from the front and it tightens. So these injections can all be done in the same place but they may have the aim of beautifying, so causing, um, creating some balance and harmony or it can be used to rejuvenate when we're starting to see softening, starting to see this um, heaviness in the front. So that's a quick whiz through dermal fillers. Um, we actually, it's worth mentioning, one of the dermal fillers we often use in the jawline does the, does the lifting, does the defining, and also stimulates collagen, which is really important to help prevent this laxity that we get um, in the jawline itself. So moving on and sort of sticking with that laxity theme, we have threads. Now you might have heard of threads. These are um, a, a physical treatment to lift and, and tighten, redraping the skin over any areas that um, when we've done all the, the revolumization. And it does get to the point sometimes where we don't want to keep adding filler, we want to tighten the skin itself. So three treatments, it's not, it's not all we can do, but that's, that's the main um, treatments that I use. And I'm gonna pass you on to Simon, who's gonna continue the story. Thanks, Paula. So that's a really good introduction to the first three things that we think about whenever a patient presents saying, can you rejuvenate my jawline, please? So botulinum and toxins or Botox, similar type drugs to relax the muscles that are pulling the jawline down. And these might be useful in a younger patient who just wants a little bit of sharpening, doesn't have too much of a blunting of that angle of the jaw. Sometimes we want to introduce some dermal fillers in there as well if we need to project the jaw forward a little bit, strengthen the side, pull it back. And then you've got the biostimulatory dermal fillers like Radi which can stimulate collagen and cause more tightening at the same time. And then of course, the jawline is a multifactorial thing. It's a very complicated three-dimensional structure. So instead of just pulling, uh, relaxing the pull down or strengthening the jaw, sometimes we need to give a bit of a pull up as well, lift the tissues up from above. And thread lifts are really the first sort of step towards that. They're kind of like a really minimally invasive, very superficial facelift. It doesn't give you a full facelift result, but it will help pull the upper layers of tissue up to help define that jawline. Now, Moving on from these minimally invasive processes, we've got a few more. They're still minimally invasive treatments. We use them in a minimally invasive aesthetic practice, but they are a little bit more involved. And these are the things like neck tight, like face tight, like radio frequency, and a few other bits and pieces. So let's talk about the, the main ones that we use. So we use a radio frequency based technology for most of these more advanced minimally invasive um, uh, rejuvenation procedures, and neck tight or face tight is one of the main ones. So neck tight and face tight, they're essentially exactly the same thing. Whenever I'm doing a neck, I also do the face, and whenever I'm doing a face, I also do the neck as well. So the neck tight is a little probe that goes underneath the skin. So for this reason, it's not like a needle, it's not like a cannula. There's a little hole that's made at the corner of the angle of the mouth, maybe a little one further up, usually one underneath the uh, chin as well, and a probe goes underneath the skin and it goes into the fat underneath the skin of the neck and underneath the skin at the side of the face. And that probe heats the fat up. So when it heats the fat up, it destroys, it melts those fat cells. So the fat leaks out of the cells and once it's done that, the body doesn't want it there anymore. The fat in your body usually stays within the cells, it always stays within the cells, but the minute you take it out, it's not gonna go back into a cell. So we can just break those cells up, melt that fat, and then we can either take that fat away with a bit of lipoaspiration, that's liposuction, 
or if it's not so much, you can actually just leave it there and the body will break it down and remove it of its own accord with time. So we can break those fat cells and by doing that, you get this physical reduction in the subcutaneous bulk. So the fat underneath the skin just gets taken away. And when it's away over time, as it starts to go away, things start to contract and tighten, you get a sharpening of the neck. So this is called the cervical mental angle, the junction between the chin and the neck. So this can be quite blunt if you've got too much fat underneath there. So a really good treatment for enhancing a jawline is to take that fat away and you can sharpen that angle again. And that works around the side of the jawline as well. So you can sharpen up the bone that appears at the edge and also at the side of the face, which is why it can be also used as a face type procedure. You can use it to tighten the skin, tighten the fat in this area. Now the face tight or the neck tight probe does another thing in addition just to directly getting rid of that fat. Because of the heat affecting the collagen fibers that run in that area, you get a direct contraction of collagen fibers. So the collagen fibers get shorter and because they get shorter, it's gonna cause more tightening. So it's gonna improve that tightening effect you get over time. I think we've got a video of that treatment being performed, just a short 30 second clip of someone having that treatment. So we can see that that probe's going through the skin into the subcutaneous fat and it's melting that fat and tightening those collagen fibers. And you can see that the patient having this treatment is completely comfortable. This is not a painful procedure at all. I ask every patient to give me a pain score of one to 10, one being nothing, 10 being the worst pain imaginable. And every single patient I have ever done this to says, hey, it's a one or it doesn't even count as a one. It's nothing, I don't feel anything. It is really comfortable because we use a lot of anesthetics and if we need to, we can give you painkillers and a little bit of oral sedation as well. So that's the neck type process. This is for someone who's got a little bit more than just a simple blunting of the angle, someone who needs a bit of fat taken out and someone who needs skin tightening at the same time. So they need that little bit of left. Maybe they need it in addition to threads, in addition to dermal fillers, or maybe they prefer it as an alternative because it does have advantages. It lasts longer than threads. It lasts longer than dermal fillers. You get at least five years out of one of these treatments, potentially a lot longer, potentially up to 10 years. So it's a one-off treatment that can give you five to 10 years worth of tightening and improvement of the jawline. So that's why we love it here. We get fantastic results and I get very happy patients with it. Now, moving on from the neck type, but still staying with radio frequency energy, the next way of addressing this is putting radio frequency energy instead of going under the skin, but directly through the skin. And we do that through needling. So there's traditional microneedling, which is lots and lots of mechanical needles that go into and out of the skin. And that causes a little bit of control trauma and that results in your skin tightening. It's a rejuvenation and healing process. But what we can do is use something called Morpheus 8 or Fractora to put those needles through the skin. But at the same time, we put energy through it in the form of radio frequency and that energy causes heat. So you put those needles through the skin and they can go from one millimeter to four millimeters in the face and they can go to seven millimeters depth in the body. So you can get it right into that subcutaneous fat, that loose fat, the same thing that the neck tight treats, but addressing it through the skin directly. And when you hit that fat and you heat it up, you get the same result, a disruption or a breakdown of the fat cells. So the fat cells get destroyed, the fat leaks out, the body doesn't want it anymore, it's not gonna put it back into fat cells, so your body gets rid of it. So you get that fat reduction effect but the heat also affects the collagen fibers all the way from the dermis down the hypodermis into the fat layer underneath. So the collagen fibers, and that's the protein that gives your skin its tensile strength, its tension. We can heat those up and again, you get contraction of collagen fibers and you get destruction of damaged collagen and destruction of bad tissue, bad elastin, stuff that you don't want anymore. And when we destroy that, your body responds by creating healthy, new, youthful tissue. So you can tighten the collagen, get rid of the fat and produce new tissue in the skin. So that gives you a further effect on the tightening. Now the Morpheus treatment can be had as a standalone. You can have it on its own, or you can have it in combination with a neck tight or a face tight procedure, or you can use it in combination with other skin resurfacing treatments like chemical peels or microdermabrasion or anything else that we think you might need to get the result that you want. So it's just one further tool that we've got that we can use on its own or add into a treatment plan. So we've got the neck tight for deep fat rejuvenation, the Morpheus or the Fractora for superficial rejuvenation through the skin and combining these to give fantastic results for lower face, neck tightening, neck rejuvenation and lifting. Now, when you present for a neck rejuvenation treatment or a, a jawline rejuvenation treatment, we have to take all of these things into consideration. So these treatments aren't for everyone. There's a, a huge spectrum of different treatments. And what we have to do is have a conversation with you and you need to let us know exactly what it is that you want, what you want to achieve, 
how much money you want to spend, how much downtime you need, how many treatments are you going to be prepared to have to get the result that you want. And when we've got an ideal picture of that, we can create a treatment plan that works specifically for you to get the results that you want. Now, all of these treatments, they're all actually really comfortable. So the necktie and the Morpheus, they seem like the most drastic things to do, but we use a lot of anesthetic in the form of creams and sometimes injectable anesthetics to numb things up. The thread lifts, the dermal fillers, the botulinum toxins, these are all very, very comfortable and very simple and straightforward procedures to have. Uh, they will all give you results of a varying degree. So that's kind of a synopsis of all the treatments that we have at the moment i guess we've probably got a few other treatments uh, but those are the main treatments that we use when we prepare a treatment plan or a treatment journey for our patients um, so i hope you enjoyed listening to that i think we're now going to go to paula who's going to close things off for us and then i'm going to say a few last words and we'll leave it at that thanks simon um I don't know about you. I'm sure Simon might need to lie down after that. That was a real <laughs> whiz through um, neck treatments. And we could really talk about um, each one of those individually in their own little um, uh, Facebook Live. But the important thing is today that you take from this is that we'd love to speak to you. The ethos of Clinetics is individuals, you, your personality, what you need, what's going to suit you. And we have all these treatments available that we can tailor to your needs. So the best thing is to call us for a consultation. Our consultations are all online just now. So it's really easy for you to get in touch and we can run through these um, on a much more personal level and work out what would be best for you. So contact us um, at the clinic online and we can take these first steps for you. I hope you enjoyed that and don't forget if you want to keep up to date with any of the future podcasts or vlogs or interviews or anything that we're doing you can click on to log on with uh, Twitter or Facebook followers on our YouTube channel or our Instagram posts and you can keep up to date with anything and everything we're doing here the stories about our staff here the stories about our patients and new and novel and exciting treatments that we'll be bringing to you thank you very much <laughs>